Good morning, Mustangs. Today is September 22nd, 2016, and it's an S4 day. The SAT word of the day is sensational, which means amazing or shocking. Today for lunch is meatball and ziti marinara. So sit back and relax, because get ready, get set. Must, uh, NHS update starts right now. Good morning, Mustangs, and welcome to the show. I'm Alessandra Veron. And I'm Thomas Rary. Come and join Ms. Goldman and Ms. Bradley for the Library Lunch Book Club. Sign up at the library desk by tomorrow. Remind your Chinese students that if you want to participate in the team, co team competition at the Spirit Rally, must sign up in teams of eight with Ms. Bear with Ms. Barefoot in the guidance office. There will be an important student council meeting today after school in room 325. All officers and members should attend. Attention all National Honor Society members. Remember to check your school email for important updates and announcements. The NHS Chess Club will have its first meeting on Wednesday and every Wednesday thereafter in Mr. O'Connor's room 218. All level skills are welcome. Next, we have Ms. Uppencamp in the studio to talk about voting. Here's Michael Dooley with the interview. Good morning, Mustangs. I'm Michael Dooley here with Shania, Nick, Tanisha, and Ms. Uppencamp to talk about voter registration. Now, Shanae, what event is coming up next week? Well, on Tuesday, September 27th, it is National Voter Registration Day, and we're working with the Norwood League of Women Voters. Um, we're going to have like a little registration drive, and they're going to be at all three lunches on Tuesday. And Nick, who can register to vote? Uh, anyone who is at least 16 year olds can register to vote. Massachusetts now allows 16 and 17 year olds to pre-register, so your registration will be done by the time you turn 18. Anyone who will be 18 on or before November 8th will be able to vote in this election. All right, and uh, Tanisha, what do people need to register to vote? Um, you will need either a state ID or know the last four digits of your Social Security to register. It. If you have a driver's license, you can complete the registrations online, and the League of Women Voters volunteers can show you how. All right, and uh, Ms. Uppencamp, why should someone register to vote? Well, you can't vote if you don't register, and voting is important. It's the easiest way for someone to participate in government, to elect representatives that will make the changes that you want to see happen, and the registration is just the logistics of it. So everybody, either bring your ID, last four digits of your social security number on Tuesday, and anybody 16 or older, register to vote. Well, that's all I have. Now back to the desk. Thanks, Michael. There will be a speeding spirit meeting t tomorrow after school in the dining hall. Any boys and girls trying out for basketball should attend a meeting Monday after school. Boys in the dining hall, girls in Miss Lepley's room. Any Friendship Club members that were interested in the officer positions, please meet in Miss Kelly's room today after school to prepare for an upcoming pumpkin painting fundraiser. There will be an art honor meeting in room 121 immediately after school. The pre preliminary election will be held in the dining hall during lunch today. See Mrs. Cormier with any questions or concerns. Equal Rights Club will hold its first meeting of the year on Monday in Ms. Uppencamp's up room in 323. See Erin Walsh or Lexi McKinnon with any questions. Now here's Chris Sheehan with your sports update. Good morning, Mustangs. Yesterday, boys cross country had a tough loss to Brookline. Girls cross country tied with Brookline. Boys soccer had a tough loss to Stoughton, and girls soccer tied with Stoughton. Today for sports, golf has a match against Wellesley, field hockey has a game against Walpole, and volleyball has a game against Walpole as well. Well, that's all I have for today. Now back to the desk. Before we go, we want to congratulate the Mustang Magazine staff for having two more stories named as finalists for the Story of the Year National Scholastic Press Association. You can see these stories on our website under the Recent Stories tab. Uh, that's all we have for today. Be sure to check us out on Mustang Media or hit us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. Have a great day, Mustangs. Yeah.